Fish Gills here, survival of the world's toughest mental institutions. I'm an expert at finding food, water, and shelter in the least likely places. I have found that sometimes the best advice in a survival situation is just to run away as fast as you can. There's not a man alive today who has better advice on how to survive. was a rough landing. I've just been dropped in the middle of the McIntosh Reserve. 527 acres of desolate wilderness. I've got to get out with only a camelback, a knife and a plate. Just like the typical hiker in the area. Because of the rising temperatures, I quickly get on my way to scale this mountainside. Once at the top, I should be able to see some sign of civilization that will point me in the right direction. to get a lot more difficult now and it's very steep just very very steep and I'm gonna need a lot of effort to get over these rocks but thankfully my friends in the institutions taught me skills on how to climb over most anything and by the looks of it I'm gonna need that right now You got to remember that when you're climbing rocks like these, that uh, you got to be so careful because depending on where you are in the world, there can be poisonous snakes hiding in nests underneath all the rocks and in the crevices, and you just got to be so careful to watch out for that. You don't want to get bit. It's a bad business. All right, here we go. I'm just scouting the best way to get up this one. One thing that you can do is uh, put one hand on top, put one foot up, try to find a handhold, trying to get all both hands, good handholds, and then swing this leg up. Oh, oh man, there's nothing to grab onto. It makes it harder. Just don't slip back down. That's the worst thing to do. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, oh, man. One down, a million left to go. Oh, oh I just got myself cut by the thorns. Oh, man, it's bleeding. Oh. Oh, that felt bad. Oh, don't do that. It's not good. Oh. Getting cut by a thorn can be especially dangerous because a poisonous caterpillar might have left toxic residue on the thorn. Many hikers lose their lives because they don't seek medical attention after such an accident. If you do get cut, the best thing to do is to suck out the toxins and swallow it because the the acid in your stomach neutralizes the poison and you'll be safe. The heat in these rocks is so intense. The, the sun just reflects right off. Oh man, it's so hot. When you're climbing rocks like these, you have to be very careful not to get overheated. Because last year, two hikers climbing rocks just like these. They passed out from the heat, shriveled up, and burnt to a crisp. What other drink can make girls dance around in circles? And why is this girl so happy? Because my mom said I could have Fresca. Fresca is the future. Point of water is my main priority right now. Having climbed through those rocks in the sun is just used up all my water got to find some pickles. Thankfully, I'm walking in the shade right now, but I've got to find water. Oh, 
Oh, it's still hot. Even the trees are being built alive. Crazy. Oh, oh, oh yes. How cute and all right there. Oh yes. This is a well. Probably dug by Indians themselves. The water may be a couple hundred years old, but it's water. I've got to get down to it somehow. I know what I'll do. Using the oldest trick in the book to escape from mental institutions, I tie all my shirts together, make a rope which will allow me to lower my camel back down to the water. Most people think I'm crazy for wearing multiple shirts, but as you can see, it sure comes in handy in a survival situation. I feel 10 pounds lighter. Almost there. Oh, good. Oh, fill up my camel back, and I'll be good to go. You must use extreme caution when using this technique to get water. Last year, a man was doing pretty much the same thing I did, except he pulled up a rare poisonous species of frog that contaminated his water. He died the next day.